All right, hey everybody. So Josh, the Retro Gamer here. So I pulled out the chair because it's time for another one of my mini rant episodes. And the last time I did one of these, I was kind of sitting down. And I think it's good if I sit down because I move way too much when I'm annoyed if I'm standing up. So if you haven't noticed, the Atari VCS, um, there's some more news about it. I just got an email this evening and telling me, hey, come check out the Atari VCS. So you know, everything's kind of been up in the air about it. We've been waiting to see the pre-orders and stuff got pushed back. They said we'd know more. They weren't really releasing any information about it. We got announced, it got announced, teased before E3 last year. And that's as far as we've gotten. Well, here we go. So basically they show a picture of it. Um, I'm gonna pull that up real quick here so you can see it, if I can get it large enough to just do the picture. Um, so this is what it's going to look like. There you go. If you haven't seen it already, you know, the controller, I mean, that's kind of cool with the controller and all of that. Um, with the two controllers, the wood grain panel. Um, so the pre-orders, pre-orders are going to be on May 30th and an Indiegogo to go. Yeah. An Indiegogo campaign still. So I'm pretty sure that they already talked about this. They already said, hey, we're going to have pre-orders. And they talked about doing an Indiegogo campaign, and they're still doing the Indiegogo campaign. So basically now it sounds like they're raising money to try to have enough money to actually make the product. So, yeah. I, I'm, this is more and more feeling really shady to me. Um, the good thing is there is one... Well, there is a couple things that I think are interesting. So first off, they said for the first, like, whatever customers, the price is only going to be $199 for the black Onyx version. So the sleek black version, not the wood green. Um, if you're, like, one of the first limited people, you know, that get into it or whatever, then you could get one of those for $199. The normal price is apparently going to be $249. I don't know if that means that's going to be the wood grain one is two forty nine, or if that means the normal price. I think that means the normal price for the Onyx one is going to be two forty nine, which makes me think that the wood grain one is going to be like two ninety nine to capitalize on that nostalgia and all those people out there that want that wood grain, fifty bucks for that wood grain, <sighs> at least maybe it'll be three fifty. I don't know. They didn't really say. So, but supposedly it will be able to do 4K resolution, so kudos there. We'll have hundreds, hundreds, well, or up to 100, maybe. Maybe it said up to 100. 100 plus is what they say. Game collection of lots of Atari classic games like Asteroids, Centipede, and Missile Command. Yay! I just, I don't know what to do with that. Like, because again, these are going to be Atari-owned games. These aren't going to be games like Pitfall... Um, probably not Pac-Man, things like that. These are going to be Atari-owned games, like Centipede. Yars Revenge, maybe, I think was one they mentioned. Um, let's see what else they mentioned. Or no, maybe they didn't even mention that one. I don't even know if they own that one. I think I, I think they do own that one. So anyway, basically, they're saying 60 frames per second gameplay, 4K resolution, internal external storage, uh, built-in Wi-Fi, USB 3, and Bluetooth capabilities. Um, they still haven't said what you're actually going to be able to do with it yet. What other games you're going to be able to play. It's just, it looks like it's just going to be an expensive Atari box. So, you know, you can go buy those Atari emulation consoles that have like a thousand games on them or whatever. I mean, I know it's not that many. I have one of those. Somebody gave me one that they got for Christmas that they didn't really want. So they regifted it to me. Um, one of those like little plug and play consoles and it comes with like 40 or 50 games. Um, something like that. So... I just, I'm just not seeing this yet. I really, really hope that they pull something out here. I, I just don't know. It, it just seems like it's going to be an expensive, like, Atari emulation box, really. Um, I mean, there there is still the chance, you know, that they're going to, they've talked about doing streaming services, and maybe you can play your Netflix and stuff through there, but they didn't really mention anything about that um, in what I saw. Um, and they're expecting to not ship it until spring of next year. So what that tells me, we're in spring of this year. It means that they're not ready to go into production with this yet. Um, it tells me that they're going to take on orders, then they're going to place an order for the devices, and then the devices are going to have to get built, and then once the devices are built, they're going to have to get shipped, and then once they get shipped here, they're going to have to get probably a little bit more done to them or something, and then get sent out to consumers. So 
honestly, I think we'll be lucky to see it by spring of next year. I think there's probably going to be some delays that are going to creep up. And I would predict right now it's going to be summer next year at the earliest. Uh, which is really sad because, I mean, they teased this thing last year. So to wait, go two years in between teasing a console and then it just feels like they don't have the backing for this or the money for this and they're just hoping the Indiegogo campaign raises enough potentially. I mean, what happens if the Indiegogo fails? What do they do? Like, do they still produce the consoles? Do they give the 200 people a console? Because they're going to have to like do a batch order. I think they're expecting some kind of large amount of ordering in order to set the price point that they did. So I'm sure they probably had to build in some kind of buffer there, but they couldn't go too high because people wouldn't buy it. And they couldn't go too low because they would have to have a huge order to probably be able to get some of the components and prices and all that stuff down, especially if they're doing 4k and it's actually got a decent setup in it. But I, again, I don't know why you wouldn't just go, heck, go get a raspberry Pi, go get an Atari 2600, open up, take out the guts yourself, wire it up and put in a Bluetooth, you know, wireless receiver. Boom. You're good to go. <laughs> um, HDMI out and all, you know, and, there you go. You've got, you know, your Atari 2600 wood grain original console with all the stuff for probably, you could probably do all that for like under a hundred bucks. So I, I don't know. I'm just like the, this joystick controller does look kind of cool. The new joystick. I think the, you know, the Xbox kind of looking controller is cool. I mean, it's, it, it's a standard controller layout. Um, so I'm not really sold on that. I do think it's interesting that they had the joystick plugged into the console into the back, kind of like the old school Atari. It looks like it's plugged USB into the back. Uh, it looks like so it could be a wired control stick. So that's kind of cool. And then the other controller is wireless. So I kind of like that, that, you know, that there's some more nostalgia they're throwing in there. Um, I just, I just don't know. I, I don't see paying $300 for the system or even 250 Two hundred dollars. Okay, that, that seems like that's a little bit more in the reasonable range, but I just I'm just not sold on it. So Atari, this is your chance to really capitalize on this. I think it's going to be really important. One, how people receive this news um, article that just came out, and two, how they respond to it, what they do, and what they do over the next timeline. Like, there's still going to be a lot of people that are going to jump on board for this. There's going to be a lot of people that want to review it, want to talk about it, want to have it on their channel you know, do things like that. So, I mean, it's going to sell to some extent. And again, like I said before, maybe this isn't marketed towards me, but seriously, like, I just, I feel like this is such a missed opportunity. One of the things I'd love to have from Atari is like an FPGA system, like work with someone to get an FPGA Atari system that could play a couple different variants of Atari games, or maybe even, maybe even just like 2600, 5200, 7800, or add, have like a cartridge add-on for this, where you could plug in a cartridge and it would play it, or, I mean, I don't know, I, I just feel like there's so many other avenues they could have went with this, and it still feels like they just slapped it all together in a box. I mean, the 4K and the 60 FPS, like, that's, that feels like they're trying, so... I'm really curious to see now on the build quality of this. I'm really curious to see if they release like a unit for someone to do some testing with, someone to break down, look at. Like as far as I know, no one's even seen it. No one's even held it. The guys that went a, a few months back, I forget what event it was. Um, you know, they said the console seemed sturdy and seemed okay. The joystick controller worked, but the the other one was just like empty. The other a wireless controller didn't have anything in it. Didn't, it was just a prop piece and. I'm really curious, you know, the console looks like it's lit up, so I'm hoping that they have guts in it now and that maybe they could get it to somebody to, like, look at some of the tech specs on it, maybe do a, a little bit of a review, maybe do some pre-release notes. Like, that would go a long way in getting a lot of people, like, oh, hey, let's check this out. Let's support it. Um, so, anyway, let me know what you think in the, you know, in the comments down below. Like, subscribe. Let me know what you think it's going to be. If you want it, if you don't want it, if you think this is stupid, if you think they should have done something different. I still feel like they're trying to get me to pay two or three hundred dollars for a bunch of old Atari games that I can get on 15 different other systems and a lot of them that I already have the cartridge for don't really want to necessarily purchase again um, and another streaming device which I don't really need I mean I have my old PlayStation 3 I have an Xbox one like I have a switch now which doesn't really do media streaming but I use that like so I don't and I have my PC. Like, I don't feel like I need another streaming device. It looks cool, but I, I don't know. It's just, 
I don't think it's cool enough to justify that. So that's kind of where I'm at at it. I'm still very skeptical. I'm still open to it, but I don't think I'm going to be an early adopter with it. I don't think I'm going to jump on board, but that's my thoughts. So let me know what you think uh, down in the comments and we'll see what happens.